and give the customer what it wants and then give the algorithm what it wants, the algorithm is going to help me make more sales and give me more of a sales velocity. And this is how powerful this is, right? And I talk about this all the time. This is why I talk about it. it's Libro. So, all right, guys, yo, what's up? What is going on? So in this video, we're going to talk about Celebro. Okay. It's inside of a Helium 10, but it's a, a reverse ASIN search tool, right? It feeds you a lot of keywords, right? Keywords are important when it comes to trying to find a new niche on Amazon or researching for your niche and seeing what new keywords are popping up. Also too, it just, you're reading the data that it's giving you. It's giving you a ton of information and it's so important when it comes to, you know, making a listing for a product, right? So I'm gonna go into a detail, show you some key points and why this tool is so important. This is why when it comes to Merch by Amazon or Kindle Direct Publishing, okay, when I'm publishing books on Amazon, it's important that I use this tool for me to understand the top keywords in my niche or just finding new niches in general. And there's some cool little features that I like to use to find new niches. And I know a lot of you that have watched my content are very big on finding new niches with very little competition because I am the same way. The closer that I rank my product to the front page organically, I know I'm gonna get more sales. And you know that too, right? So make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you get any value out of it. And if you have any questions, please comment down below and make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Let's get into the content. All right guys, so also too, I'm gonna have my affiliate link down below in the description. If you guys haven't signed up for Helium 10, I recommend you do. You can also sign up for the actual, just the Celebro and pay $37 a month. If you go inside and start doing do a few searches, right? You'll run out of searches and it'll tell you to upgrade. So it doesn't give you the option to do that, but in order for you to sign up for the $37 a month, you can just basically sign up for a free account and then do the two searches that it gives you for free. So it also gives you two free searches a day, right? And that's more than enough to help you with your research. But then as you start to learn more and more, res like learn how to do your research and uh, finding new niches and stuff like that, you're obviously going to need more searches because it gets more, it gets more, it gets fun, right? And you get to see the data and all that information that the keywords that it's giving you. And it's huge. It's very, very powerful. This is exactly how I use Helium 10 to find new niches and find new niches with very little competition, right? So if you understand that, that's how you get your first sales and niches um, with very little competition. And because you go into niches sometimes and then you put these long tail keywords in your product listing, right? On Amazon and you put, you put that in there. And then next thing you know, you're like, dude, how come I'm not ranking for that long tail keyword? It's because there's over 3000 people competing for that product. Right. And you want to, you want to go for the less competitive niches with 200 or 300 or 400 or 500. So it's very, very powerful that sh you know you know exactly what you're doing. And you also, too, you want to rank for long tail keywords that have search volume. OK, if you go into a niche and then you use like a long tail keyword that you think that you think has a search volume and it doesn't have a search volume, you're wasting your time. So this is one way, too, as well. The tool is actually supposed to help you and speed up the process. That way you're not using, you know, you, you can use these free tools and stuff like that, but this gives you all the information that you need. Okay. And if you guys are unaware, I make a lot of content on print on demand, merch by Amazon, KDP, Redbubble. I do a lot of that content. My thing is, is, you know, finding these keywords, learning the data and seeing how you can rank on the front page. You know, I average anywhere between, you know, eight to $12,000 a month with uh, merch by Amazon. And, um, it's, really freaking awesome an awesome opportunity um and then the other pr print on demand platforms you know just a little added bonus right and the next thing i'm focusing on right now is kdp youtube and just growing out everything so let's come over here to silly bro okay there's a few different ways that you can obviously use this tool right you can put in a top selling product that you have and see what long tail keywords that you're popping up for so you can get an idea and the goal is to rank closer you want to rank organically You'll see it over here. You want to rank number one. You know, you want to rank closer to that front page. Okay. It's so important that you rank as close as possible to number one, because that's how you're going to get the sales velocity going. You get the traffic going to your listing that generates more reviews. The more reviews you have, the easier it is for the customer to make a buying decision. Right? So really important. All right. So I'm going to come over here. Um, I'm going to grab a top selling. Um, I'm going to use a shirt for this example. You can use this for any product that you're selling on Amazon. Okay. You can use it for KDP. You can use it for 
uh, if you're selling anything in the home and kitchen department, it doesn't matter what product it is. If it has an ASIN, you can grab it and plug it into Celebro. Okay, and I'm gonna see, I see this bestseller right here. I graduated, I graduated, can I go back to bed now? Okay, so what we're gonna do is gonna come over here and grab this ASIN. Okay, it's right here. Let me open up the other way. You can show you how to grab the ASIN. Another way too as well, if you come down over here to the actual listing, you come over here to product details, here's the ASIN right here too as well, okay? So you're just gonna grab that, come over here, paste it here, if it pops up, so, and then I'm gonna press get keywords. And this is gonna, this is where the magic happens, right? It, it explains a lot right here, okay? Uh, frequently bought products, okay? So basically, frequently bought products together. So they brought this one and then maybe this one or this one or this one or this one or this one. Okay, it's giving you a ton of information. Okay, it's pretty self-explanatory right here. What I like to do, and I'm gonna show you a few tricks that I like to do to find new niches. This is the crazy thing right here. Graduation, graduation gifts for him. Okay, so when they type in this long tail keyword phrase over here, let's let's go into incognito mode. Okay, and I'm hopefully you guys are following along and you get exactly what I'm doing right here. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I will ask them, and if you got getting any value out of this, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. All right, so graduation gifts for him. So when I press enter, okay, look at, there it is. Okay, now if we come back over here to Celebro, now we look at the stats for this, okay? This is crazy because we can see the search volume. It's whoo, through the rough, right? And you can see it always spikes. So this gives you an idea of when to design for this actual niche, right? If you're in this niche and you're trying to, you know, get into it, it gives you an idea. Like you want to get ahead of it a little bit. You should start designing for this niche. And yeah, but it has a consistent look. It it has a consistent search volume, right? As you can see. But then, as of course, in the middle of May, it just freaking skyrockets through the roof. And, and the idea is to get in before then, so you can actually ride that trend too as well. But this applies for anything too. It doesn't matter if you're doing evergreen or just in a, in just in, a, in an evergreen niche. Evergreen niche is basically like, let's say for example, like the frog niche, the uh, English bulldog niche or whatever it is. You don't want to go into like a trending niche like for graduation, but spikes so high throughout the year. It's like a little bonus, right? So if you jump into this niche, the thing is, and also too, it shows you this right here. Okay. Over the past 30 days, the search volume trend plus 457 right it tells you the competing products this is something that i pay attention to a lot right um now it gives you like the giveaways like in order for you to rank number one or, or, or start to rank on the front page for this product right you can do the giveaway but obviously you have to do a certain amount of products but my main focus when i do this stuff when i come into find finding the, the keyword data i look at the competing products right so it's going to be very hard for you to rank on the front page for this long tail phrase because you have a ton of competing products right it's not saying that you can't do that but you have to kind of figure out what you can do you know to rank for that because the algorithm is obviously working for this product okay and it's pushing it closer to the front page and drive it like it knows it's a good product and people want this product right here so they're going to drive it closer to the front page so very very powerful so what in this example like if I was to come into this niche and uh, try to find a winning design or create a winning design for this niche, what can I do? Okay. What can I research? Okay. The first thing that I always recommend is you always do keyword research before you start designing for a product. Very, very powerful because the data, this is the data. It's not lying to you. It's like the data doesn't lie. It tells you a lot of good information. Okay. There are certain things in here that you can kind of come across and sometimes this takes a little bit more work. And some people don't like that, that it takes more work, but it's good because it pushes a lot of people out. Okay. So understand that if you come in here and you find something unique and different by looking at a single keyword, okay. You're looking at a single long tail keyword phrase or, or whatever it is that you're looking at and you see that, okay, cool. Graduation gifts for brother, but there's 10,000 competing products. So what I like to do is use this advanced filter. Okay. Come over to competing products, but max say 500, right? And um, this sometimes it's like hit or miss, and sometimes you got to be careful. You got to make sure you're double checking for trademarks and all that stuff. Just because I'm showing the, showing you this, you know it, that you can't, you don't have, to, you have to double check. You always have to double check it. Okay. So now we're going into, so we're thinking of graduation. So this is how I would literally dissect it, right? Now we're, we just look at the competing products now, kind of filtered it by the max is only 500, and this is big because next thing you know we can find a phrase in here, right? We may find a phrase in here. That will help us think of a design idea or 
hit a sub niche, a sub sub niche where there's very little competition. Okay. And then we start ranking for that. And then we start to rank closer for the front page to the other long tail search phrases, long term, long tail search phrases, right? Which is this over here, right? Uh, now there's high school graduations, right? Now you're starting to learn the niche more Be based off of this one product. We're learning the niche more. Okay. So, so important when it comes to designing and making designs for new products, because this is going to help you stand out. Now you got to learn the niche right? when you're learning the niche mom's out of sight. You're going to see that you're going to come across like Creekside Middle School. Okay. Now there's, it's going down into the actual, the school names. Now this is something to think about too, because you can literally go to the school and be like, Hey, I'll make all your, you know, I'll make all your shirt designs for you, right? For your school. And then I'll place them online so you can purchase them. That's another idea, right? Think about it as different ways. How would you approach this in different ways to help you rank close to the front page or maybe just uh, find another opportunity for you to make more money, right? Broadway, here I come, smash, right? And the cool thing too, don't you can literally look at, just click on that, you know, bring it over here. High school gifts for him. Could you create a product, you know, that will rank for this right here? Um, if we look at it over here, where was it? High school gifts for him, right? Only 22 to our two or 222 uh, competing products. Okay, can you create something like that? See now, here's another one here. I just graduated. Now what? Is there? Huh, let me see. Let me come up here and type in like. Let's say we're let's say we're trying to just for shirt, right? Interesting. Let me see. What I use right there is the productor. Okay. Do you see how we did that? Like it. Interesting. Okay. Now you would double check, you know, you want to double check for trade parks or anything like that. But I think we just found a new search phrase that's being searched for and um, there's no design for it. And that's a perfect example of how to, you know, find a new design idea. Okay. And got lucky this video that I'm recording right now, share, share that with you guys. But you get the idea. It's just like when we come down here and we're looking at the search phrase and seeing if, you know, look at, okay, there's a, a good amount of search volume for this, right? And there's no, also too, you want to double, like I said, double check for trademarks, right? But there's a good amount of search volume for that, but there's nothing there. But, and then you're just going to go down this whole list and see what other, like, you know, what the other designs you can come up or design ideas that you can come up with, right? By looking at the keyword phrases. These are actual search phrases that customers are typing into Amazon and this tool is helping you find that, right? And I think that's freaking powerful. If you use that and you look at it, you know, from a different perspective, you're like, oh, I can come up with a ton of design ideas based off of this, right? And you can just use this for anything, Amazon, okay? I'm just showing you, show you this as an example because this is what I talk about a lot, but you can use this for any product on Amazon. And if you find a top selling, what I like to do is find a top selling uh, design in a niche and see what long tail keywords people are searching for to find the product. And if I can create something based off of that, you know, use that long, long tail keyword in my listing and give the customer what it wants. All right. And then give the algorithm what it wants. The algorithm is going to help me make more sales and give me more of a sales velocity. And this is how powerful this is. Right. And I talk about this all the time. This is why I talk about Celebro. So you can see, okay, there's pages and pages that you can go through and look at all this stuff right here. And um, there's all the filters, advanced filters in here too, as well. Okay, you don't even have to stop there. You can see that these are frequently brought together too. So we have a ton of data right here in front of us. So if you go over here to this one, you're gonna see it's person graduating, dabbing, right? And there's, you know, there's there's some information in here too as well. If you come over here, look at the BSR chart, we can see that it has consistent sales. If I see that, you know, I'm gonna click over here on keywords and it's gonna do a reverse Asian search and it's gonna give me a ton of, like a lot more data over here. Okay, I'm gonna take this data understand the niche, see what people are searching for, give them something they want, make a sale for the first time in that niche, and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So if you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. Watch my next video up here. I go into more detail. Um, there's a free way that you guys can do this, and I do some more research too as well, and you can see that the data is important. Keywords are important. If you got any value out of this video, give it a thumbs up. Peace out.